Hello, Appliance Repair community, and this is Reggie Williams, your Encompass rep, and welcome to Encompass University's podcast. And we have a very, very special guest for you, uh, Jesse, Jesse James, <laughs> the outlaw brother, is here. <laughs> Thanks, man. Happy to be here. Yes. Uh, he's with American Vulcan Lacquering. Uh, if you've been hiding under a rock somewhere and don't know who Vulcan is, uh you're missing out you really really need uh this product is very very important to the appliance community uh and also refrigeration repair uh so so jesse just give us a, a quick overview on who Vul vulcan is yeah so american vulcan lockering um so we've been uh in the refrigeration industry for a long long time so for those of you who don't know we make brazeless or cold joint um, soldering that's available, um, which is really important in today's day and age when you're working on flammable refrigerants or R600A inside of customers' homes. Okay. So we've developed a tool and a technology. It's been around for a long time. Our original application was actually on the B1 bomber for its refrigeration lines. Mm. We also had an application on the Saturn V rocket. Okay. Um, so I always like to joke that if it's good enough for bombers and spaceships, probably good enough for your refrigerator, right? <laughs> yeah, I think they can handle refri yeah, a refrigerator. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> So uh, we're going to go over uh, common uh, issues uh, that, that, that you see out in the field, um, the common questions you may get from technicians. Uh, but first, let's get right into it. Let's see how this works. Yeah, so absolutely. So real quick, um, so I've got an HMRKV or the hand tools everybody knows. So a lot of us, we've all seen kind of a tabletop demonstration, but just to give a quick demonstration, you know, first things first, I always have to identify what size tube am I working with? So I'm going to use the calipers that come in the lock ring master kit. Come in, be able to size out this tubing. Here I have an eight millimeter tube. The other size I'm also working with, I'll measure that. That's also an eight millimeter tube. Here in the outside of my ring, I'm able to see that this side accepts an eight millimeter, as does this side. So now that I know I have the right size tube, I have the right size connection, just like in a brazing operation, I'm gonna start by cleaning any of my tube ends. This is gonna remove any uh, contaminants or oxidation that's in the material that's gonna cause any problems with my lock prep setting up and curing. So once I've done that, I'm ready to go ahead and apply my lock prep into my connection. So the secret on that is we take lock prep that is in date, meaning it hasn't expired. Open that off, bring that tube out just a little bit, not fully out, but just a little bit. I'm gonna apply with the proper amount of lock prep needed. Put that on there. And then I wanna spin that connector a full 360 degrees. That allows the lock prep to be evenly distributed all the way around. From there, I go ahead, I take my hand tool, I bring my connector up inside of it. And if you notice, I've got this tool running here inside of my arm, making sure it stays nice and stable. And now I can go ahead and ratchet this all the way down. Or you can use the lock press mini and get it done a whole lot. I, I, I was about to say, bro, it's taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, folks, this is the lock press mini. Uh, it's, as you can see, this is, is a lot faster and easier. Um, I mean, both tools are great, right? Absolutely. Uh, but if you're, you know, laying down on the floor and, you know, in, in, at the bottom of a refrigerator, uh, which tool would you rather have? Right. Um, but they both work great. I say all the time that, um, using the lock press mini, uh, makes you an expert in about 2.3 seconds. Cause that's how long it took you close that connection <laughs> versus here this takes a little bit more skill and practice using lock ring is every bit as skilled trade as using the torches um so you got to make sure you have proper training and you know how the system actually works before you start tacking into sealed systems and, and going about making repair jobs so if you're not uh you use the word skilled um so give me a, a paint a picture of me of an unskilled person using that what, what have you seen so a lot of times what you see from people who haven't received proper training um, or they haven't gotten the full picture of training and how this product works, they're going to run into issues where they aren't correctly choosing um, the right size connector, connections that they need. So they yeah. aren't properly sizing. They aren't using the right amount of lock prep that needs to be used to make sure that you're fully protecting the joint and you're setting up all of the, um, all of the adhesion and everything that you need around that joint 
from the lock prep. Uh, there could be issues of not holding the tool correctly, which leads to broken joints where connections get snapped or they don't get fully seated all the way and they end up leaking right away or down the road. Um, as long as a technician has the proper size material or the proper size tubing, the proper size connector and the right material, they know what they're working with, you're going to have a permanent leak-free connection every time. Mm. But you do have to be able to follow the steps and know exactly what and where you have to apply certain situations. Okay. So you have the lock prep, you've got uh, the measuring tool. What's this called? Sorry. Calipers. Calipers. Sorry, calipers. I should know this. <laughs> um, and there's a cutting tool. Yep. We have our LSRZ 120 degree tube cutting pliers. Um, these are amazing. And when you're dealing with lock ring, millimeters count. This is able to get you into much tighter spaces compared to like the old ratcheting style yeah. tube cuttings. Yeah. Um, if you've ever worked on an evaporator and you're trying to pull that line out and get that ratcheting all the way around it, sometimes there's not a lot of space behind the sidewall and the, yeah. the tube. This here, it eliminates a lot of that. All I have to do is to be able to hold and move this 120 degrees range of motion. And because I have three cutting wheels in here, I'm gonna get full 100, 360 degree cutting range um, so I can score and snap that tube evenly. So when I was a, a new to appliance repair, uh, one thing I kind of wished, I was like, man, I wish there was like, you know, you had to buy a drill, you had to buy um, pliers, you had to buy, you know, all types of tools, screwdrivers and Phillips head. You had to buy all this stuff separately, right? Uh, I was like, man, I wish there was like a kit. Once, once, one shopping, you know, once, one, uh, one stop shop kit for beginners or somebody who's doing something new. And it looks like, man, you gotta buy all this stuff separate. No, oh, man, not at all. So what you can actually do is you pick yourself up the lock ring master kit. So if you are a sealed system technician and you work on more than one brand out there, you wanna get yourself the lock ring master kit. Okay. So this is gonna give you the largest assortment of connectors for the largest size ranges that are most common across all OEMs. Okay. Now that isn't going to be every single connection. Um, we make over 143 different size range combinations. That'd be a lot of connectors to carry in yeah. this box. Yeah. Um, but we're going to give you pretty much everything you need to get out there and get a solid foundation and have a solid truck stock of material um, to be able to start doing sealed system work. And then as needed, you can order some of those specific size ranges that you may or may not have on the truck as needed. Okay. Yeah, that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in that kit, um, you're going to get a lot of really great things. You're going to get a full selection of lock ring connections um, that are going to be in made out of brass or made out of aluminum. You're also going to have your HMRKV. You're going to have your assembly jaws. You're wow. going to have a pair of L LSRZ cutters. Help you out here. A yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to channel my inner, uh, you know, Vanna White here. Your inner Vanna White. You're doing great, right? <laughs> You'll have cat tube cutters. You're going to get a whole assortment of tooling inside of here um, to really be, help you get up and going. So once you've got that, um, this here is going to enable you to be able to work on all refrigerant types with the exception of CO2 and ammonia. Um, but this, our, our um, excuse me, lock ring, um, perfectly acceptable for use on R134A. Lock ring can also be used on light commercial work. We were recently approved um, for pressure ratings up to 725 PSI for our 00, zero series. So that's 50 bar for our European friends. Wow. And this is the old kit, right? Is there an updated one? So they're talking about the charging kit, actually. Okay. So we also offer a full charging Rhetorical. kit. Rhetorical. For R600. <laughs> um, so when R600 started rolling out here in the United States, there weren't a lot of charging products out there. So we were able to come up and build one. So this is a little bit older, outdated style. The new charging kit that comes out, or that is out now currently, um, same exact thing. It's got a soft-sided uh, case instead of a big, bulky, heavy case. And we added an extra tool in there. Um, and then we dropped the price because we wanted to help out technicians out in the field and help them be able to get out and get working on this stuff as they need it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. Uh, so we're going to get into, like, so these tools are awesome. Uh, getting back into being skilled and how to get skilled, right? But before that, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Yeah, so my name is Jesse Lantini. I'm the sales engineer at American Vulcan Lockering. Um, I've been with the team now for coming up on two years. 
Um, so I am actually responsible for the zero zero market or the appliance repair market, as well as our automotive um, repair and customization market. So why do we call it zero zero, man? So we've got different <laughs> kinds of connections. <laughs> so lock ring has four different assembly procedures. So we yeah. offer single ring. So for those of us who don't know, we actually partner with pretty much all of the OEMs to help them join the tubes in the factory using a single ring product which a lot of technicians, they're going to see that on evaporators, condenser lines, heat loop lines, compressor lines. Um, everyone who recognizes those, those lock ring single rings. So, so let me get this straight. The manufacturers, mm -hmm. those that make the refrigerators, mm -hmm. for anybody who don't know, you, know. <laughs> you never know, uh, came to you guys and to, to custom fit your connectors to their refrigerators. Yep. So we actually, we have a full partnership with a lot of the engineering teams at all of the manufacturings and at the OEMs. Um, and my director, Bill Osborne, he worked in Jeremy Hedges, my manager, they work directly in hand in hand with them for customizing, building out and fielding the, the specs of all of the tubing measurements and everything that has to happen wow. to make sure that in the factory connections are being assembled correctly. Unfortunately, we all know things that sometimes things go wrong at the factory yeah. and components fail, things leak, they don't always go right. So we have our zero, zero ring connections, our service connectors to be able to fix those issues when they happen. On the other side, um, we have a 50 series connection, which is used more in heavy duty stuff, HVAC, commercial kind of work. That market is primarily used by the United States Coast Guard. Um, so the United States Coast Guard has brewed lock ring aboard their vessels. Mm. Um, as well as the United States Army, the United States Air Force. They all use our product as well for their refrigeration needs. Um, and then we have a full automotive line as well for, uh, we are the approved method for Chrysler, Nissan, and um, GM oh. for the AC line sets and customization parts. Okay. So uh, what refrigerators will have lock ring connectors in them? So from the factory, there's going to be all kinds. Pretty much, like I said, we work with all of the major OEMs. We work with some so, small So boutiques. all of them, or do some of them not have it? So there's a couple OEMs, like small ones, that may not. And there may be specific models within a brand family that don't use lock ring on some okay. of them. However, there are some brands. I can't exactly say who yet, but there is a brand that is working on doing all of their joints from the factory using nothing but lock ring. Okay. So right. that's a project that we've been working and partnering with um, that, that we're working through right now. So if you're doing, I would say if, if a technician is in an area where you have uh, a large inventory of residents with newer appliances, mm -hmm. uh, especially new, new build outs, mm -hmm. um, or if you do a lot of warranty work, it sounds like it makes sense to learn this skill. Yeah, absolutely. There's actual a couple different OEMs out there, um, some high end ones um, that actually say that lock ring is their preferred method of repair. Oh. Um, and a lot of this comes back just to making sure that we're doing safe things inside a customer's home. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so and I want to make something very clear. We say at lock ring all the time. It's not my goal to take a torch away from a single technician. I don't want to do that. I believe brazing is a very skilled craft, and I think you should keep up on that. Yeah. I want to give you another tool that you can put into your tool bag to be able to get a job done. Most importantly, I want to make sure you can get the job done safely. So what, what are some of the objections you get from the field? A lot of the objections we get come with the struggles that technicians have with making proper assemblies. A lot of that is going to come down to ensuring that you have gotten the full picture of training. Um, so we actually offer all of our training to, and tech tips to be able to help that out on the lock ring knowledge base, which we'll talk about a little bit here. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be just, hey, I can't quite figure out how to work or something starts leaking afterwards. Well, there are some very specific rules that you have to follow when making a lock ring assembly, making sure your measurements are correct, making sure you've used the right amount of lock prep, assembling it in the correct time frames, um, sure times that you have to be respective of. You know, and I, it, there's there's a lot that goes into this. Um, so this isn't necessarily something that you can just take a PowerPoint training on and quickly glance through and grab your tools and be ready to go. Generally, this is something you're going to benefit a little bit more from some formal instruction. Um, so you have a real solid foundation before you start going out and making repairs. I agree. And that leads us to our next segment. <laughs> Where do you learn this stuff? Uh, well, there's a place called Encompass University. 
Uh, you want to do the honors, man? Tell them about the, 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 new, the new program. So we're super excited <laughs> um, that we've been able to partner with Encompass um, and Encompass for, for Encompass University specifically. Um, they now have two or three certified lockering instructors who have been gone through our full factory training. Um, so they know our full spiel on our 600A safety, how to safely work with hydrocarbon refrigerants mm -hmm. um, to make sure you don't accidentally blow yourself up in a customer's <laughs> home um, or at least cause severe injuries or maybe burn a floor or something. Um, but then also full lockering theory and application. So unfortunately, there's been a lot of misinformation that's been spread out over the years. And because of COVID, the training team and the sales team, we weren't able to get out and do visits and help provide training and information. So we're changing a lot of that as much as we possibly can. Um, the Lockering Knowledge Base, which I referenced earlier, you can find at lockringtech.vulcanusa.com. That is the number one spot for all things Vulcan. Okay. So you can go in, you can find our entire catalog. So you can look up all of the part numbers that you need. So you put together your wish list and go to Encompass to buy all your parts. Um, we have a full manufacturer cross-reference list as well. So from the manufacturers who provided me their part numbers that they assigned to our product, I've got that up there as well. So a technician can look to see what lock ring connections are actually compatible. When you're dealing with lock ring connectors, it all comes down to tube size, not part numbers. Mm. So just because you have a Whirlpool part number doesn't mean that you wouldn't be able to use a Samsung or a different part number there on a COD job. Because really it comes down to tube measurement, not the part number that's been assigned to the product. Okay. Um, more information on there about our training. Um, all of the PowerPoints that we actually, that our instructors use and our certified instructors use are available for free to download complete with instructor notes. I want technicians to be successful out in the field. We also have Excellent. a full array of lock ring training videos on our uh, YouTube channel at American Vulcan Lock Ring. So we've got 30 minute, an hour long videos of us going in and doing real sealed system repairs. We have a wow. repair that we do a GE top mount on. We go in, we cut out the evaporator, the compressor, filter dryer. We put it all back in, ripping it out and putting it in. It takes us about 30 minutes using lock ring. Wow. That's excellent. That's excellent. After you've been trained, you can expect to see a 40 to 60% time savings compared to using the torch out in the field. Okay. Uh, so if this is something that you are interested in, uh, feel free to reach out uh, to me. Uh, you know how to reach me, L-O-I-R. Lean on, on your rep. rep. And you can put that hashtag in Google to find me, or you can just simply call me, 404-921-7412. Also, you can log on to encompass.com, scroll down, you'll see the training tab, and there you'll see our whole catalog and calendar of uh, virtual and hands-on training events that we have coming up. And also, our uh, newest uh, segment we've got going on is actual uh, four-day trainings. So we're going to give you four days of in-depth uh Nose to the ground, grinding training. <laughs> Nothing but a, a way to express this, but uh, just a way of you know, just, we just, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, and these training is their their focus, um, and their consecutive four days in a row. And your technicians will come out definitely better than they came in. Um, Jesse, thanks for for uh, coming out. Yeah, Appreciate you, brother. Uh, and again, go to the knowledge base if you have any questions. Uh, if you want anything you need to know, I mean, it's called knowledge base. <laughs> everything you can know about there is on there, as is all our contact information. Um, so we say to technicians all the time and to owners and everyone, we believe feedback is a gift. So if you are dealing with failures in the field, frustrations, or you just got questions about how something works or what you should buy, please reach out to us and give us a call. We're happy to chat about things for you and make sure you're set up on the road to success. Excellent. Check out the knowledge base. Um, after that, uh, go to Encompass University, attend one of our uh, in-person, hands-on training classes so you can actually put your hands on these things. Uh, even though I made this look easy, you still need training. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and all the part numbers will be in the description of this video uh, for everything that you see here. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video. Mm -hmm.